So, if anybody was wondering, uh, Jimmy's right there, Skippy, whatever you guys want to call him, he's right there, and he is doing perfectly fine. There are the rest of the fish. Everybody else is nice and happy. The pond's a lot cleaner, by the way, because I cleaned it, but, uh, yeah, so everybody's doing good. So, before we get started, I want everybody to stop what they're doing. Go follow me on Instagram, right here, it's on the screen. Uh, at 30k, we are doing a giant giveaway, a massive rod and reel tackle giveaway. So, if you guys want to help us get that giveaway going, help me get to 30k on Instagram. So, uh, it's on the screen, and the link will be down below. So, now that you guys have seen that the pond is doing great, Skippy, Jimmy, whatever you guys want to name the bass, he's doing A-OK. -okay, uh, Let's get started to what you guys clicked on this video for, and that is the Rod and Reel, my Rod and Reel arsenal. So, uh, let's get started. So, first setup I'm gonna show you guys right here is the Accurate Boss Fury 500 two speed. This is the two speed. Uh, I have it on a Star Rod Deluxe 40 to 60 pound rod, and all I have this pulled up with right now is 80 pound mono and a little bit of braid under it of 80 pound braid. And yeah, this is what I use for those big snook under the bridges, at the pier, sharks, anything that is gonna teach you a lesson, you teach them a lesson with this combo. So yeah, this, that's what I use this for. But uh, let's get into some of the bait casters now. Now, as you guys probably know, I own a lot of bait casters. And they're all from my good friends at Diola because they have decided to hook it up with some of the best, you know? First bait caster I'm gonna show you guys is the Daiwa Coastal on a Savage Gear rod. Uh, this Savage Gear rod is I, I think eight foot six or something. But this thing is amazing. This reel is rated for saltwater fishing. I use it for bass fishing and saltwater fishing. I actually have 20 pound mono on it for bass fishing. But uh, yeah, I use this thing a lot and I actually just had a little little snook swim bait on there, but uh yeah. So that's the first bait caster. Now the second one. Now the second bait caster is my uh, Daiwa Tatula right there uh, on another Savage Gear rod. And this Savage Gear rod is also eight foot. This is an eight foot actually. 15 to 40 pound little chartreuse swim bait on there with a jig head. I actually have I think this is 40 pound Daiwa J braid on here because you know, gotta support the company. But this Daiwa J braid is some quality stuff, boys. If you guys don't have any, you guys definitely need to pick some up. And we have it on the Savage Gear, you know. This combo right here actually caught me a 43 inch snook. I'm gonna put the picture right there on the screen for you guys. But yeah, this combo actually caught me that snook and it could catch some giant fish. Next on the lineup of bait casters is my Daiwa Lexa 300 win. This is the brand new Daiwa Lexa win. I have it paired with 60 pound braid if I'm correct on a Daiwa Proteus rod right there. I'll leave the link to get this bad boy down below if you guys want to get it for yourself. But uh, yeah, this rod and reel is primo for those big snook and tarpon and basically anything that's really big you can even catch a shark on this, not a, lot, not a lie. I promise you, you can catch a giant shark on this. But uh, yeah, that's what I use for some big tarpon and big snook. This combo right here. Look at that. Right there. And this rod is a seven foot six, and it is 40 to 70 pound rated for braid. And all I have is a spool tech on there right now, but uh, yeah. I usually use the 65 pound or 60 pound braid and then I usually use 80 pound leader on this setup because it's meant for giants and uh, that's what I use it for. So uh, next up, uh, that's it for the bait casters. I have some more bait casters inside. If you guys want to see another video on the rest of my rods and reels that I don't use at the moment, then uh, you guys can comment down below. But uh, for right now, this is what I'm using. I have a few more rods that I'm using, but they are in the car. Uh, one of them is a One Stop Marina custom rod. And then the other one is a surf rod from Bass Pro that I use also. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see those, 
comment down below. I'll make another Arsenal video and show you guys the entire thing. But uh, yeah, let's get into the spinning rods. So, first up on the line of spinning rods, we have a uh, Shimano Twin Power 5000 right there. And I actually have a vertical jig on it because uh, I like to use it for vertical jigging. But there it is. I have it paired up with 50, 50 or 40 pound dial with J braid, high vis, because I like the high vis for, for vertical jigging. But uh, yeah, it's the 5000. This thing puts in a lot of work, caught so many fish on it. Then I have the T Shimano Terramar Inshore Series. This rod is seven foot, 15 to 30 pound line, rated for. But uh, yeah, use it for vertical jigging. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to. This rod can break, but uh, hey, I use it for what I use it, you know, and it works. So that's first spinning setup right there with a vertical jig, you know, but yeah. So uh, yeah, let's get on to the second spinning setup that I use. So the second spinning setup that I got is an offshore, my offshore uh, spinning setup. It's a Saragossa 8K 8000 on a Bass Pro Ocean Master rod right there. Hopefully you guys can see that good. The line rating on this rod is 30 to 50 pound, four to eight ounces, and it is a seven foot rod. Now I have 20 pound mono on there because that's just what I use for offshore fishing, but uh, yeah, this thing is a beast, as you guys can see, and it catches some giant fish. So, yeah, that's what I use when I go out on the boat and stuff. Reel that in. But, uh, yeah, not much to really talk about. It's just a basic offshore setup. Jesus Christ. So then my third spinning setup that I use for offshore as well is this Daiwa Eliminator 5000 right here on a vertical jigging rod that I do not know the brand or the specs because it doesn't say but it is a vertical jigging rod has a big quality K guide I don't know what rod it is but it is a Daiwa Eliminator 5000 and I have it spooled up with this feels like 80 pound braid for those amber jacks you know but yeah I also have a I think I have 80 pound leader on here with a nice Daiwa vertical jig right there. But yeah, this thing puts in some giant work. I've caught some giant Jack Crevals on this and uh, hooked some pretty big AJs, but uh, nothing landed yet. So yeah, that's the vertical jigging setup for your boy right there. Hopefully you guys can see the whole thing good right there. Now the next spinning setup you guys have seen me use a lot and that is my Van Stall 150 on the Daiwa Proteus inshore rod. Now, now, a lot of people say that to use a Van Stall you have to go fishing underwater basically because that's the proper way to use it, but no. This thing puts in work, has line capacity, and I don't know how much drag it puts out, not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it puts out a decent amount. I think it puts out I'd have to say at least 20 pounds, you know, at least. But uh, yeah, I've caught some big snook on this, big tarpon, sharks. I've caught everything you can think of off this 150 right here and on this Daiwa Proteus inshore. So if I had to put anything first, like if I go fishing and I'm going to take a rod, if I had to pick one rod, it would probably be this one right here because in my opinion, it can handle anything that you throw at it, basically. But yeah, that's for this rod, basic inshore pier rod, you know, all the good stuff for the big fish. And then last but not least, I have my Daiwa Black Bay rod right there. It is a seven foot six and it is a eight to 20 pound rod. Very light action rod. I use it for those peacocks and some snook and tarpon that are very small, nothing too big, you know. But right now I have a Stratic 1000 on it with 8 pound braid. This is not the reel that I usually have on it. The reel that I usually have on it is Daiwa Cage 2500. This thing has put in so much work and caught me so many fish. If you guys haven't picked one up, I highly suggest you guys go and pick one up. I'm going to leave the link down below so you guys can pick one of these Daiwa Cage 2500s, these bad boys up. These things 
are definitely worth the money and they're very good price for a beginner reel for a beginner reel or for any type of reel it's a really good reel guys like this thing is definitely in my top three for light tackle fishing but yeah that's what I had on this rod before and I still use it actually it's just I recently put this on to go catch some bluegills and I didn't want to you know I wanted to have fun with the bluegills I didn't want to you know rip them out of the water with a 2500 so I put the 1000 on and I just left it on there but uh, yeah this rod is very good for big tarpon not big tarpon I would say like 15 to 20 pound tarpon it can handle them very easily so if you guys plan on catching big fish with a light tackle rod I would suggest this rod a hundred percent but uh, yeah boys that's it for my rod and reel arsenal if you guys want to see the entire rod and reel arsenal that I even have inside comment down below like this video subscribe turn on post notifications all the juicy stuff but uh yeah oh one more thing I forgot to go over what line rating the van stall rod was on so it is on the Daiwa Proteus inshore and the line rating is 15 through 25 and it's a seven foot six there you go so if you guys plan on getting us the same setup there you go boys but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you guys in the next video peace